I went to see John Hap, who promised me he had some fossils that would blow me away. And he was right. They were some more remarkable fragments from a triceratops, this time dug up in Montana, USA. The first one he showed me was a fossil of a damaged horn. When we first found the left brow horn, we were disappointed because about a third of the horn is missing. And on close examination, there's a conical depression on the top of the horn and another conical depression in the bottom of the horn. These are bite marks. The end of the horn was bitten off. And the shape of the teeth marks proved once again that the culprit could only be T-Rex. But bite marks alone still don't prove that T-Rex attacked Triceratops. However, John had noticed something else. Close to the left brow horn on the frill, we found some additional bite marks. There was a line made by T-Rex's tooth raking into the frill. But there was something strange about this line. Where you might have expected a clean-cut groove from the tooth, there was an unusual ridge. And when John x-rayed the ridge, the incredible truth was revealed. You can see at the first score mark an area of dense bone. This is an indication that the bone rehealed. Aha! There you are. The bone healed. Now, that proves that Triceratops was attacked by T-Rex while it was alive. And Triceratops must have survived long enough for the wound to heal. If ever there was a holy grail of fossils, then John's small bone fragment might well be it. It's the first time that we can say for certain that T-Rex wasn't simply a scavenger. We now have evidence that it did attack Triceratops. We know that, in this instance, T-Rex grabbed Triceratops' horn and broke it.